Editor Harry? Oh, I'm going to eat a, um, a coconut cake. Something, whatever you call it. Nice. Yeah, thank you. And just every game that's working in it. Yeah, right. Still kind of surprises me that I'm a very, like, the they first met in 3D Mario in this game. Yeah, right? I don't do it. Like, I, I just have to say, like, the, the lava texture in like, the Galaxy games is, like, ridiculously good. <laughs> like, yeah, the, the, again, these games just look so good for, like, even for, like, Wii standards. I don't know if you're making noise. I know he's bothering you. I don't know if you're making noise. I'm going to make you pop and I mean, yeah, that'll work better. Hold that bump. Uh, here's a random, has like nothing to do with like, well, I guess it's like, this like, could be considered like a sub series of Mario, but like, uh, r random question, uh, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the best, uh, uh, soundtrack of the DKC trilogy? I don't care about Dr. Harry. I mean, you don't need to play the games to get the soundtracks. I don't listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> no. I listen to the soundtrack of DKC 1 and 2, but I haven't given either version of the Wii soundtrack of one of the soundtracks I'm going to give a fair answer. I wouldn't say, uh, right, uh, I, like, I mean, I like Tropical Freeze the soundtrack. Well, yeah, I mean, if I, if I had to include that, then Tropical Freeze would win, win by a landslide, but. Yeah, I'm in terms of original strategy? Yeah, just one, two, and three. Um, well, can I have actually two? But I haven't played much of three. I, I have the most nostalgic uh, memories with like one soundtrack. But I think I think two's is like overall the best. Like I think two's my um has the most uh, the tracks throughout the game that I really like. But I think like, like, yeah, like, more than one songs than one than one of this. Yeah, say, say that again, please. Um, I think the songs that uh, the songs that, there are more memorable songs in two because songs memorable songs one I think are personally better. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. that's that's kind of hard for me to really say. That's what I think. Like, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like. Because it's like, this, is, this basically would boil down to like, Stick of Us Symphony over uh, Aquatic Ambience, and I, I, I genuinely don't know if I could pick between those two. I mean, they're also, they're also like Mining Melancholy, that's um, good. Um, Watch Out Starving, I'm not so good. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like, I think my, uh, one of my favorites is definitely, was it, like, oh gosh. Go! Alright, uh, was it like, Jib, Jib, Jig, or whatever? No, 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 Snakey Chancy, I think, though. Snakey Chancy, that's the one I really like. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I got remixed in the Smash. I don't like it as much. I don't like it as much. We make it as much though. Yeah, I get that. I want to hear the the, the snake one. It also makes it bigger. Just the points from being a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, does oh. two two has a different bonus theme than one, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't remember what it sounds like. One, it's just the decal swing. Sorry, two is the decal swing. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to get the edge for uh, to, to one in that case. Yeah. Whenever whenever I hear, I just think the completionist. Yeah, like. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, okay. That was like some poor, oh, that was like some poor core crap going on there. I looked away, what happened? I was like, I don't even know, like, just craziness. Mm -hmm. Which shenanigans with gravity and jumps? That's galaxy for you. I do really like this theme, at least. Are we gonna hear a longer than earlier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this might be the most uh, hit points, like, about, not counting RPGs, obviously, because that's kind of cheating. Uh, I think this might be the, the most hit points a Bowser fight has had. Final Bowser Mario in Mario has 99. Yeah, like I said, RPG's kind of cheating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we need to do this. I don't think Mario RPG has that much for Bowser, because I think it's only once. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, like, the actual, like, the background, like, the setting for this, like, this is amazing, but, like, yeah, yeah, we, if the fight itself is nothing. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, bad aiming, yeah. Can we split the credits or no? Uh, I don't know. Survey says. Woof. Sad Boozer. Oh, fuck this shit. I, I just remember. I don't remember who sent this, um, but like, uh, uh, something about Bowser saying like, "Oh, that didn't count." Uh, and I, I remember saying in response to that, like, "What if Bowser just went out of the black hole and just said, nah, can we do that again? That didn't count.'" Copy <laughs> 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 that. Best of three. Best of three. Like when that back, I wasn't ready. Also, Peach's power cell. That's a little detail. Nothing yeah. yeah. I noticed. Yeah, like I'm yeah. Yeah, Perry, Perry was like just in Super Princess Peach and like trophies, I guess. Yes. I don't know if is it he or she? He. he okay. Yeah, I don't know if he's appeared in anything else besides that. No. I can't skip this. I'm pressing classes. <laughs> it's not working. Oh boy, we're going for a double cutscene. Good job, Mario. You put the once more. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> the kid is not my son. <laughs> you are adopted. <laughs> and then Mary just like looks at the camera and shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, just, 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 just,
Mushroom Kingdom, here we go. Or oh, whatever he says. <laughs> yeah. Mushroom Kingdom, here we go. Don't touch that mushroom, you'll die! No, don't touch that mushroom, you'll die! Big boy. Boing. Yay. How do you guys feel about like, the storybook, uh, like, the aesthetic in the cutscene? I don't know if you've talked about it. Yeah, I don't know if you've said anything about it. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Mm. It's fine. Yeah. I like it for just giving it, like, um, uh, more, I guess a bit more of its like, own identity compared to, like, one's cutscenes. Yeah. One night cutscenes? <laughs> oh, right. The yeah. animated. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, the opening and, like, uh, f like, f finale stuff. Right, right. Mm. It's been a while. Yeah. At least you guys actually get to hear the theme this time. Oh, right. <laughs> it was funny because we were just talking shit because we couldn't hear anything. Yeah. I didn't realize it was going to work like that. But it was funnier. Also, uh, if you try hard enough, you can actually die in the credits. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, but it's like, it just abruptly cuts the music and just says too bad. Yeah, I think I remember you showed me something like that. Uh, oh, the, the question is, is this technically part of the same star right now? Uh, like, I know, oh, there, there is another thing I, I did show you, like, Xavier, like, the, uh, dying in the, um, in the hub world, like, the world map. Oh, oh yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you get the, the you get the bee mushroom for 120 stars. Uh, That's nice. Yeah. Should I get hidden a comet medal in the credits? Oh, dang it! No. I didn't. I didn't do it. <laughs> that would have been evil. Okay, I think what you have to do to die is like, when you get to the snow area here, um, you have to like, be flying like, I, I guess towards the death plane immediately. Or transitions. Yeah. Well, well, I guess before you run out of, like, fly meter. Um. You still hold- and you're st So that bee mushroom is only in- if he has all, all the stars? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't- it, it, it didn't show up when we first did the credits. Yeah, I- I- I don't know if I like this- I don't know, I go- I kind of go back and forth, like, between this or the first galaxy credits theme. I think this one is a lot more whimsical. Um, the the well, the first the first game's credits felt like the end of a blockbuster movie. Um, I don't think either style is better or worse, but like I don't know, they're both pretty good. I mean, yeah, they're both good. I think I still prefer Galaxy ones. Same. Small boozer. But now he's tiny. Oh. Like you said, it's they, 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 gave, gave, they, they fed him, they fed him, a, fed him, fed him a mini mushroom. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally, it's literally in the Mario movie. I was gonna say yeah. like the Mario movie, like indirectly referenced this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I more, more, more so, more, more so, 3D world, especially like, especially with well, like, the jar. Well, the would, the, it's, I guess it's a mix of this and that then, because uh, the 3D world, yeah. he's, he's like normal size, but like. Yeah. Thank you, Yoshi, for taking the fruit off that cake, man. That's just that's just not right. Yeah. Ah! I like trying to get on screen to like the very last bit. I should have had Luigi bet the celebration to show that you had everything. Yeah. Oh, the comet's green now. I wonder oh. if that means anything. That's that, Luigi coming down from the observatory. He couldn't. He got left behind by mistake. Had to. Take the long way home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then there's just like, uh, oh. like a constellation or whatever of Luigi. Oh no, Luigi's dead. No. Oh yeah, this is you. Oh yeah, this 120 star ending. That's right, kids. Yeah. This whole story was not isn't canon. <laughs> That's right. Time for padding. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I always, I always like took this as like, uh, um. Uh, Taking place like sometime in the future, probably, possibly. Yeah. Just, 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 just for just for the fact that like the Lu the Luma ha has Mario's hat, so it's like 
it must have still happened. It's just Ro Rosalina somehow made this into a story the same way she made her own like life story into a book. It's like you don't really think yeah. about it. You, you don't think about it. It pu published by Sch a Scholastic. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Ah, oh, good. Everyone's together now. I thought Scrappy was gonna voice. <laughs> Not doing it. I'll do it. I mean, I, I can do it. Like, uh, well, you've been doing it before, so go ahead. Next, let's hear a story about the jewels of the cosmos. Let me tell you the story of the green stars. It's not a 3D Mario. It's not a 3D Mario without padding. This is a story yep. from long, long ago. Two weeks ago, to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One fucking week ago! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So this is basically I the game out. This is basically this game's equivalent to like the Luigi run, except yeah. like we kind of have to do this because it's technically new content. Yeah. You, you really did it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for comments are swarming all over the universe. See for yourself. Oh gosh, darn it. Well, oh okay, okay. This time I will get the mail. Just the note from Luigi. I just saved you. Why are you kidnapped again? She's just. I, she just went. No, she just went to the. She just went to the store to get some milk. Where are we? Are we back in the first world? Yeah, I think it, it looks like. Yeah, I think it puts you back at world one. Great, Mario reset the universe again. <laughs> <laughs> I like the end of the Scott the Wars video of Galaxy 2, where like it, this scene just plays, and he just looks at the camera like, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh! Hey, hey! Like, hey, yo! Did you see that? The pranks and comments were green! Green! You know, that means there are green stars around now. Those must be the cosmic jewels I kept hearing about. Oh, boy. Those green stars are pretty hard to find, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Take it away, Captain. Oh boy, here we go. So one thing I do want to point out that's really nice is that when you get all the star, all the like normal stars, I guess, uh, what the World One map theme t uh, turns into a remix remix of Good Egg Galaxy, which is really cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, let's go on with it. So. Ah. I'm like, padding. This is just padding. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you guys kind of touched on it earlier, but the any other things you have to say about the green stars? Padding. <laughs> I mean, yes, but I honestly, I think I'd in on paper, I think I'd still take this over just a uh, second quest of Luigi from Galaxy. I would 1. take. Well, I mean, I'd take that as well, just because like, I I like yeah, because like l playing as Luigi again. Uh, I, I'd be more fine with it if it didn't lock away, like, one ex extra level. Um, at least with this, it's technically new content. It's not ideal, but, like, you know, uh, yeah. I don't think I was dragged out. <laughs> huh? It's not dragged out. You get a star, reset you, get to do yeah. it again, now do it again. Yeah, no, yeah, I... I, I the, 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 that's, like, the one issue. The structure of this is extremely flawed. Like, I... I, I guess I may as well, like, go over, like, my thoughts on this, because it's, like, as it is, um, I, I, I don't hate it, like, I don't mind going through the levels and fighting these things, but the, the way it's structured is, like, not very good. <laughs> um, <laughs> it doesn't normally have to keep getting the pranks to comment by a message every single time it happens, and they drag things a little longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, Having to get a green star, get the boot out thing, and then going in. It's kind of like the... It's like a more extreme version of the Mario 64 problem with the, the boot out system. Where it's like, that was never really an issue before in these in the Galaxy 1 or 2 because of how the games were structured. But like, since you've already played all the regular stars at this point, like having to boot out the stage, get booted out of the stage every time and then the next green star is probably on the same, like, star mission. 
Like, it's just kind of redundant, and it's like... Yeah. I was you saying, know where they are? I was, I was gonna bring that up. I know where a good chunk of them are. I don't remember where all of them are, though. Um... Well, some of them, well, some stick, stick out more for another reason. Yeah. Like, um, it's... it's like, I, it, in some ways it's kind of cool, because, like, you have to listen out for, like, the sparkly sounds. Uh, and, like, pay attention to your surroundings more. And I will I will say this, I... I don't think the green stars are a bad idea. Um, I just think it's executed really poorly. Like, I think... If they did so, if they made it so like you go through the levels for your first time and like you can get the green stars immediately, um, and they don't boot you out, I think it would be a, be a lot better. It gives you more of an incentive to explore the levels, um, and like with how tricky some of these like can be to like grab, it would add some uh, difficulty to like the main run through the game. Um, like, you, 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 you probably have to adjust some locations, because there's some green stars that are do or die. Like, if you miss them, you literally just die. Um, so that, that, that would have to be adjusted. But I think it, it, they worked more like star coins or, like, green stars from 3D World, funnily enough. I think it would, it would be much better. Um, and it's like... Yeah. Yeah, 3D World, uh, I think, mostly... In Made the green. I mean, yeah, the green stars in 3D World are just they're like yeah, they're basically like star coins in New Mario. Yeah, I f I don't know if like that's necessarily like a fix to Galaxy two, Galaxy Two and more of just a c coincidence because like the green stars in that game, like, yeah, they're just free, like th that game's equivalent to star coins. But it's kind of funny how that works out. Like it's basically how this game should have handled it. Yeah. Um, or like, or like, or like, or like, or like, or even like the going like the going like the banjo kazooie approach, because like yeah. since it's like a big area, where like it doesn't boot you out of the area as soon as you get the main collectible, because like or or, but at the very least in that game you could just leave whenever. Yeah. Yeah. Or like they they could just work like like comet medals and oh, like, or, yeah like comet medals oh or, or you know what like the power moons in in Odyssey yeah well they say Nintendo wasn't ready they 3D yeah. Mario just did not work like basically like on traditional collectathon for whatever reason yeah I don't I I don't I really don't understand 3D Mario's obsession with like padding though like the the, the only ones I can think of that don't really have that are like 64 to a degree. Like, you could argue 100 coin stars, but they're not. I wouldn't argue they're that bad. Uh, uh, and yeah, then. The Bowser levels. Yeah, and then there's a 3D world, which, you know, I, like, if you hate yourself, you can play every level to get, like, stamps, but you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I was scorched ten times in the latest in the last Bowser level. Why'd you do it? For stamps. Yeah. Mm. Uh, like I know, like on paper, like the green stars is a is a really cool idea, honestly. Like it it, it would it gives me uh I guess a similar like a smaller scale vibe to like blue coins and sunshine, where like it actually gives me more of a reason to explore the environments. Um and yeah, it, I mean, that's fair, I mean, and I think you're gonna make the argument yourself, but yeah. sometimes just a more open game yeah. is not as sequestered with its level design as Gauss 2 is. Right, yeah, I mean, I guess what, what I like about some of the green stars is that it does put you in dangerous, like, situations, and and you have to, I think, I think the, the fun of, like, quote-unquote finding these things is more so how do you get to it, rather than like, where is it, kind of thing. Um, because again, I feel like having this, having the green stars be just a thing you do throughout the game, uh, just, it would up the challenge, and, uh, like, I don't know, it just gives you, it just gives you something to do, um, while you're playing the game, I guess. I don't know. I, like, I could see, I could see that, although I would. 
Like, I'd probably prefer that, though, I imagine having, like, a... And what's effectively like a third major collectible during the main game would probably be a little too much, but like resource, ma not resource management, but you know what I mean. It's just a lot of stuff to juggle for the player. It might be. Uh, I can try uh, to think of a comparable thing from a Nintendo game. I mean, uh, <laughs> 64 to an extent, but that might be a little yeah. too extreme. Yeah, that's good. I mean, like, right back. I'm gonna get water. All right. I, I mean, Mario Odyssey also has like, was it 800 something, uh, uh, like. Um, Unique moons. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, that's probably why I'm never completing that game. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I used to actually go for 100% with games. I don't know what made me quit. Oh, wait, I know. Jack 2. <laughs> yeah. It's been about. It's been over a decade since I played that game. I probably would be uh, softer on Jack 2 if I played it now. But um, it, I, I'll say this much, I have no interest in 100%ing it. Oh, we're talking about Jack now? What happened? Oh, you've just, just been, like, <laughs> MIA. <laughs> we were just discussing, I guess, the possibility of Green Stars being a collectible that was just kind of available, quote-unquote, available to, like, find throughout yeah. the main game instead of being a post-game thing, and I was like, yeah. I could... Wait, what? Sorry, what did you say? What? Just get to try that one more time, and Jason. <laughs> precursor egg. Precursor. What precursor egg? Jack. What? What's that to do with the precursor eggs of Jack One? But um. Oh wait. Oh well, it... wait. No, but, no. But, but in pre Jack Two, they were an extra unlockable. Oh, we're talking about. That? Uh, I, I think we've, like, confused the conversation a little bit. <laughs> oh boy, this is a good start of things to come. No, uh, no, no. What what, what, uh, what were, we were talking about is, um, what if, like, you got the green stars while you're playing the main game? Like, normal 120 stars. Hmm. And I said that that might help with streamlining things, but I, I guess my argument was that it might just stress out players to have like basically a third major collectible during the main game instead of like kind of just keeping them exclusive to the po exclusive to the post game. I get. And yeah, I guess. Like, I think it. I guess it works in 3D World's case because it's just you just have the, like again since it works like star coins, it people like just kind of associate them like that, and it's like I don't know. I I guess. I guess it also this also like three D lands and land and world's case of like being more like two D Mario games in three D rather than uh like this kind of yeah. obstacle course get kicked out after one objective yeah style of game like if the green stars were basically like the green stars of three D world where you could just collect them and you weren't like kicked out to them yeah yeah I yeah. think that yeah that that's my proposal as well I do if we if um if you could get the green stars. As you went through the game normally, I wouldn't want them to be like to boot you out. I just want you to grab them. Uh, the first time you get it, it's like, oh, those are green stars. These are in the levels, just like the comet medals. And then it's just, yeah, you just grab them like normal after that. I like how one of the green stars is still just lying about in plain sight, though. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I guess like, all right. So every comet medallions, comet medals, whatever you call them, are always they're always in like the first mission. So, I guess you enter a galaxy for the first time, you have your regular star, the comet medal, and then the green star hidden away somewhere. Yeah. I, I think you know, that seems manageable. Yeah, I wouldn't mind something like that. I was, like, I think as well, since, uh, like, the original reason you get these things is because, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Grandmaster Galaxy? I think a way they could have done it instead is like maybe if you get all the green stars for a world you get like uh, a special level that only unlocks after you like do all that and then the one for world s can be grandmaster galaxy like normal um i don't know if that would work super well but i mean it would that it would it would be nice to have like rewards for getting the green stars that's like the you get something for doing it throughout the game and not like 
one, and not just like one thing you get at the very end kind of thing. That could work. I mean, I'm lazy, so I'd say just make the green star rewards like I don't know, extra costume for Mario. I mean, they could also do that. I I can't. Oh, I, can I, I I'm kind of thinking. Oh, I could be mid too. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking like something along the lines of like the K levels in the returns, like DKC returns toology. Uh, like I I know something. Like obviously, I'm not asking for like that level of difficulty necessarily, but like. I know something a bit more challenging than what the main game has uh and is i don't know i i like i generally like it when mario games tend to get harder when they're done well so like i don't know on paper i would i i'd be i'd be done with that <laughs> harry all i all i can think of right now is when i played the switch version of tropical freeze i told you i was gonna call a few and i uh I got the Bopopolis, and you're like, better not clear on your first try. As soon as I do, I hate you. Yeah, try doing that while getting the puzzle pieces. I did. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that level so many times. Did I remember when I told you all about the time I got, like, a gold relic on Area 51 in Crash and Zane Trilogy on my first try? Yeah. <laughs> No, try. I don't. I think my game. I think my copy glitched out because that's. I don't believe that. Yeah, no. They they made Area Fifty One way easier and insane. <laughs> way you say way easier <laughs> is a relative term. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> trying to get the relic out. The the relic is a lot easier. I should I should stress because you literally have to try to not <laughs> to get like anything below a platinum. It's kind of silly. You know what? I got my ass kicked by. Rings of power, so you know I'm taking the mulligan. <laughs> yeah, I will say that I think they. I feel like they made rings of power harder, so I guess it's a trade-off. Oh, yeah. They need to remake Crash Three again and make the vehicles good. <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird. Like some vehicles are better in the original, and some are better in Insane. Alright, this is one. This actually, th th this. These green stars are like really dangerous. Uh, yeah, it doesn't help a lot of these green stars are like do or die. Yeah. There we go. Oh gosh, that stressed me out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, 120 stars of Galaxy 2, I consider the game done. <laughs> yeah. Like this is a. At least with Luigi Galaxy, what you can do with that is like just hit it for a different run. Yeah, I mean, I guess... Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I guess you could also do that with this as well, but it's like... Not well, like, the really context, the, well, the difference is, is... Well, there's a different context, so that's... That's, that's right. the... The European is doing it. At least they're not all three. Right. If they're all three, I'd lose my fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Like, it's based on, like, how many stars are in, like the normal level so every for every regular star there's a green star equivalent so this is, this is the true mirror mode yeah but like i said i don't know why i i don't understand 3d mario's obsession with like like padding like this like it's the, the game will like how long have we been doing this playthrough the game's long enough <laughs> Well, we, we, we got, like, a world done a session, so... Yeah, and each session was, like, nearly two hours long, if not more than that. It's like... Clearly, clearly 10 hours is... Clearly 10 to 12 hours is not enough. Yeah, it's like... According to some gamers, it really isn't, and... I, um, I don't... And that's, yeah, I don't inherently agree with that. I don't understand... I, I, you feel like you're making your money. I don't understand, like, gamers, like, uh, mindset with that. Like, it's like... Oh, a game is like ten hours long. Rip off! It's not worth sixty bucks or whatever. It's like not every seventy now. <laughs> yeah, seven. Yeah, seventy now. It's like the not every game needs to be like Skyrim. Calm down, dude. <laughs> in fact, actually, did you hear about the rumors about Metroid Prime Four? Uh, no. What what happened? Uh, something uh... about it. Something about, I think I remember something seeing, like, it's like, a report saying it's not quite open world or something like that. I see. They're fine. I mean, 
I mean, there's been no true open world 3D Metroid, but I don't know if like open world really that's makes like, sense for like Metroid. Too. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it feels like they're trying to use it as, like, a point of contention, almost. Yeah, like, the way Metroid is designed, I don't know if open world works. Also, I think Xavier died. Oh. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, I guess on the subject of... Okay, do I want to talk... Do I want to rant about Game Link or Metroid? Oh my gosh, the hard decision. Uh... Um... Okay, Metroid first, then. <laughs> I don't know, it's... I, I don't know, I, the, the prying games are non-linear, but I'm not sure I call them open world, per se. Yeah, when I think open world, I'm thinking like Breath of the Wild, where like you can literally just go around a huge open map and do whatever. Like, that kind of style of open world, I just don't think fits Metroid. Like, you can have a bigger map than usual, I guess, but, like, the idea of, like, going around a Metroid map and being free to do whatever you want, like, that doesn't sound like Metroid to me. You know what, hang on, let me find the post I saw. Uh, just give me a moment. Where is it? Theme is joyful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's one up here. Oh god. So where is it? Alright, there we go. These are just these are the easy green stars. Yeah. Okay, I guess to go back to the subject of game length. Like, I get it. Like, these things are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> They're expensive to buy, expensive to make for the developer, so they probably want to justify the cost, so to speak. Right. But... Yeah. It makes it makes sense, uh, but I think. I don't know. The way I've always oh, I've always seen it is that like I don't really care how short or long a game is. I what I care about is if it like I guess resonated with me or like I had fun playing it or like did I have fun with the game? Yes or no? Uh, that that's yeah. that's what I and and that's like what um if the answer is yes, then I think it's it was worth the money. If not, then it wasn't. Like that that's yeah, how that's how I see it. Okay, I can't find it unfortunately. I like, saw it earlier today, it just gone from my feed. Yeah. Like Well, I mean like to quote to, to quote Reggie, if it's not fun, why bother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's like Alright, uh, just touching on this again a little bit. The other reason why the boot out system is like really bad here. Is because like even in like 64 the levels were like open world in that game so even after you got booted out like you still had um it's not like you were retreading the exact same like pathways every time you could like go somewhere else whereas this is because of how linear this game is you're forced to just go through the same path every time so it's like but longer yeah <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, were you gonna say something? No, I can't. I, I, I'm still trying to find a post. Uh, game length, game length. Yes, um. Oh, jeez. I'm surprised that well worked. Done. <laughs> I got bit on my arm by a mosquito and I just feel. I just feel offended now. <laughs> I hate mosquitoes. I just. I'm <laughs> I'm just imagining now, like, a mosquito just bites your arm. You look at it and just go, You offend me. Sorry, 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 something amusing on my Twitter. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. This oh, is... God, I need some cortisone. It itches. <sighs> this... I'm already lost as looking at my Twitter. This is... Oh, this is gonna be... This, I... is, gonna... this is gonna be um, a time. I... Um, I think you mean X, I'm joking. Oh, no. Don't even... I, re I, 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 I refuse. I refuse to call it that. That's a stupid name change. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter X, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll settle for Twitter X, but that's about it. 
Yeah, I'm not calling it X. <laughs> Screw you, Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> um, I oh that, like that, that reminds me like I, I I saw I saw a Twitter post where like apparently like um where apparently like on top of like the Twitter building like Elon hung like a giant neon X and it's incredibly bright and someone made a post like imagine waking up in the middle imagine living in the building that that's across from that neon X and waking up in the middle of the night to that bright light oh god. <laughs> I kind of want to see that. Oi. If I can find it. <laughs> Please do, I want to see this. So... Game length, game length, okay. I think I, I guess I said all I need to say on it, just... Mm -hmm. Find something to, like, play what you like, I guess, just... Don't... I've had to learn this lesson several times over the course of my life, but... Yeah, life is short, don't... Yeah. Force yourself to complete a game if you don't like it. <laughs> well, th yeah, that and also, uh, again, I don't think every game needs to be like a hundred hours long. Like, yeah, there, there's only s life is like, s like only so so long. So it's like, I I'd rather have a bunch of like smaller games rather than like a bunch of longer games, because like af after a point it kind of just gets exhausting. <laughs> like sometimes you just want like a like a not necessarily condensed, but like just a more uh, a smaller experience, I guess. Yes, I appreciate Galaxy 2 for mostly respecting the player's time. Yeah. Yeah, there's like there's also like what makes the Green Stars weird as well, like there's like this game has like a very arcadey like style where like you're never doing one thing for too long, and then it just <laughs> and the, the green stars kind of just spit in the face of that. <laughs> it's like what? No, I oh, don't know. Like, I found some news. I found some news articles about it. Mm. Sure, that'll work. Yeah, so. at least at least we're like. A sunshine's equivalent of uh, like padding, like the blue coins. You can you can do that throughout the game, and uh, that's unironically my favorite part of sunshine. So it's like, you know, I think I think sunshine probably had the be the the best idea in terms of like uh, padding, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Forget what I was going to say. Oh, oh, the news out. Okay, okay, the, the, the article oh, has a link to the Twitter post. Okay, put this, put you put this, yeah, just, just send this to me, I gotta wanna see this. Mm -mm. I uh, recall this level having fire flowers in it. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh god. Good. Wow, that Goomba went zoom. Zoom. Where even is it? Uh, should be like. Okay, this one oh, kind of. Oh, oh, gravity shenanigans. Yeah, th this one kind of sucks to get. Can I like? No, I can't. Yes. Watch okay. You can't. Oh, you can't turn sideways. Okay, I'm gonna wait for <laughs> this to turn turn off. Try a long jump. What? No. Uh. I don't understand how this one works, honestly. Can you long jump? I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. There we go. I don't know why it didn't work last time. Alright, let me see this post. I would be fucking livid. Imagine this fucking X I read across. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? 